for the next stage, we need to do a little bit of manipulation to allow us to copy this fin around to this face here. To do that, we first need to go back into the sketch we just created for the fin, edit the sketch, highlight the sketch to make sure it goes blue, and then copy, which is Command C. We then stop the sketch, and now we want to create a new plane at an angle. And the angle is the green center line, and the degrees this time is 30. Now, we use the 30 degree plane plus the 90 degree plane to ensure that we are at 120 degrees, so that we have three fins equidistant eventually. So we now need to construct this new sketch and then new model for the fin over here. So to do that we do sketch and create sketch. This time highlight plane 2. And although it looks the same, we are actually working at a slight angle. We can now paste the original uh, sketch from before, but this time it's obviously upside down and back to front. So I can use the arrows here to move it up to relatively the near position. And then if I rotate the whole model, you can see some of these other icons become available. And I pick up one which is 180 degrees, so I'm flipping it 180 degrees. And then I'm also turning it 90 degrees before moving it more into position. And again, if we turn it around, we can see we're getting close to the position we should be. Too far, close. So now we stop the sketch, and we can see that this sketch is at 120 degrees, but it's still only two-dimensional in terms of thickness. So as before, we go to uh, Extrude, click on the shape, three millimeters thick. Just make sure it's a new, pro new body, and OK. So we've got two fins. We now just finish off the sketch by doing exactly the same for the third sketch.